Hey yo everyone and welcome back to John's Food Review. Today we're going to be trying Diamond of California Sweet Maple Walnut made for snacking. I don't know what else walnuts would be made for, but um, these look like they're candied, which I love candied nuts. But yeah, with EBT, at least I can, I got these, I got um, the other ones we're gonna try. Uh, salted dark chocolate. Um, got some of my favorite, mango. Uh, and then I got a bag of uh, roasted and salted almonds, which everything's good for you. So that's the good thing about having EBT, I guess. I can actually get healthy snacks. But um, because of how stingy they are with it, like all of that, and it's only down here. So I can't just like, oh my god, oh my god, no, can't do that. So I want to. Okay, there's a thing right there. Oh, we're off to a great start. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, actually smells like um. <laughs> Some dudes like to snort, snort Parmesan. I'm snorting sweet maple walnuts. Um. No, but it smells like honey bunches of oats. I don't know why. I'm gonna... Okay. Looks like a little turd, really. It's like a little, actually a little heart. Now, so, got a nice sweet smell. Huh. Not getting much of the sweet maple. You know, one day you guys are going to actually watch me do it. I'm going to stick them up on my nose and I'm like, bloobity, 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 bloobity. Congratulations if you get that reference. I mean, they're good. Just. They take like these little ones. Nope. If they're good, they just don't taste sweet maple. They hydrated kids. All right. And now we're going to try these. These are uh, salted dark chocolate walnuts. Sound good enough. Ooh. Much bigger pieces than this one, too. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. It took a bit. It's like it's like a an end flavor. You don't get it when you first, you know. It like slowly comes in. It's good though. Why are things tasting like what they're supposed to? But those aren't. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Contains tree nuts. Not like any other walnut. 
coach are vegan? Come on, back in focus. Come on. There. No, I'm kidding. Diamond of California. We have been nuts about nuts since 1912. We proudly present our first ever straight from the bag snack nuts inspired by our favorite recipes. In fact, actually, let's try one more. We're gonna do the mango. I haven't had these dried mangoes before. It's uh, good and good and smart, but but I love mango. Ooh! Oh wow! <laughs> but that's uh. Wow. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Serving per container, about three. Hmm. How many are in here? Uh, I mean, there's definitely more than three. That was really good. And now I'm full for the rest of the night. Um, I mean, the so the, the roasted and salted almonds, we don't need to try that. We know what salted almonds taste like. So. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, the, 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 um, the maple ones, they, they didn't really taste like anything. There was a sweetness and that was about it. Um, one thing I don't like about walnuts is like that weird feeling on your tongue after like it hurts. I mean, I don't know if that happens to everyone else, but. You know, there's just certain nuts or foods or something that even if they're soft or whatever, like on the sides of your tongue, it just hurts. So, but yeah, the, the maple ones were, they're good. They just didn't taste like what they said they would taste like. But those dark chocolate ones, it, it, it takes you a few seconds, but then that chocolate flavor hits and it's really good. Um, I don't know if it's like a coating of powder or whatever but i'm definitely looking forward to buying some more healthier you know healthy snacks being that i've got ABT now uh i get it every ninth of the month so we've i think i get another whatever amount it is in two days so maybe after work on monday i might have my landlady get me over to ingles and get some food like real food you know uh, 40 because uh, I really would like some more food <laughs> you know it, that, that's the one thing about Dollar General it's like it's a convenience store really so they're not going to have the healthiest of the healthy they have stuff like that but it's like I mean I can find stuff like that at Ingles for cheaper because I mean this little thing I mean just, like that's how much is filled and it was like three four dollars so i can get the same kind of thing in angles a bigger bag and have it cheaper so not to mention if you have your little ingles card that's even more off if uh if it's on sale that week angles also has the best um meat like i've said um like cheese any kind of cheese over there is really really good you know usually it has a good price um Hell, the last the other day when I went over there, uh, got me some garlic butter that they make over there. It's really fucking good. 
Um, so, like, I had those sandwiches and stuff, and I just, like, I was just, like, taking the sandwiches and, like, dipping it in the butter and all that. That garlic butter is really good. It comes in, like, a small container, and then it comes in, like, in a, you know, a bigger container. But, um, yeah, Ingalls is really good. One of you guys said that, um, thought I lived in Pennsylvania. I know there's a few Ingalls in, uh, Pennsylvania, but no, I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina learner. And we got Ingalls here. Ingles. Ingalls Market. I know some Ingalls are, like, super big, almost like a super center, but ours is just a regular, ordinary, small, not so important. <laughs> they, they did do renovation inside, and the place looks so much better compared to when I worked there back in like 2013 like it, it, it's so different looking and it's so much more appealing to look at when you walk in um the floors are like everything's cleaner which is good so hopefully that's less on the uh whoever has to clean the floor because when i used to work there i you know swept the entire floor myself i had to mop the floor by myself i had to buff the floor by myself and then I still had to go outside and put the shit up on the sign out there. <clears throat> but it looks like everything's been redone. The floors, the shelves. Uh, I think he has a new coat of paint. It looks nice. But it's funny, the same workers, I was like, there's three, four people there that I was working with in 2013. And they're still there, so. And funny enough, they still look the same. It's actually, no, Daniel doesn't look the same. Daniel looks like he's balding a bit. And then I think I saw when I was sitting there the other day, I think I saw one of my, um, the, the assistant manager, his name was Greg. He's a really cool dude. And I think he walked down, he had like this big old gray beard. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is something he got old. I mean, of course, this was 2013, so <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen to people. But I was like, wow. You know, he was tall. I could tell by the voice. He had a very, like, you know, mellowy, deep voice. I'm like, wow, Greg. That's crazy. But, um, yeah. So, all in all, mango is good for you. They also had those little, um, banana chips, but I'm like, nah, they're too dry. Well, they're sweet-ish, but they're they're too dry. Like my humor. Anyways, just thought I'd try those for you because I obviously they were new for Dollar General at least. Um, but that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.